All I can say is I want justice for my husband. He don't deserve to die like this. And all who know my husband know very well the kind of person he is. Or he was. And he don't. He don't deserve to, like, to die like this. Mrs. Archer is calling on the police to find those responsible for her husband's murder. I pray. That the police and the investigators and everyone do what they have to do. My husband don't deserve to die like this. Mrs. Archer told TV6 News that news of her husband's murder reached her while she was in church on Sunday last and still is in disbelief that he is gone. She said her 11-year-old son also cannot come to terms that his father is gone. Yes, at first I didn't believe it. You know, I didn't believe it. At first, because I mean, the type of person my husband was and to hear what the police had said about the person how they found them i didn't believe it she said her husband always put others before himself what kind of person was he the most kind-hearted person my husband was the most kind-hearted person he will go out of his way to help anybody he will put his help last that is the type of person he is so to hear how he die, or how they say he die, he didn't deserve that. He didn't have that bad bone anybody. He will do any and everything to help someone. On Sunday, Guyanese National, Mark Archer was found dead with a chop wound to the neck on a beach behind the a &R Robinson International Airport. He was Tobago's 25th murder victim. An autopsy is to be performed to determine the cause of death. Elizabeth Williams, TV6 News.